I have found further proof Fred Phelps is so very punk. It has occurred to me that the Dead Kennedys song, Man with the Dogs, describes Fred Phelps and his effect on society oh so well. And by the way, if Phelps did what he did now, back in the 60s, he would name his band Dead Kennedys. Some choice selections of the lyrics of that song, Man with the Dogs, describes Fred Phelps. Stop in your tracks. You're being laughed at. Your armored ego is nude. Creep into you. I won't go away. You're taking yourself too seriously. I smile as you frown and turn, a, turn to walk away. Your habits for all to see. I see a shrew. I see you and the rodent things you do. You see you. I see you and you're pretty self-conscious too. And I'm gonna crack your mask. Yeah, and I'm gonna laugh. Open wide. My favorite part of that song is towards the end. A spoken part, which goes something to the effect of you and your rigid corporation life slowly disintegrate into ashes. Ashes, and we all fall down. That reminds me of Fred Phelps. I love how Fred Phelps gets otherwise rigid, apathetic, asleep drones to wake the fuck up. The routine of every day is enormously stifling to me. And Fred Phelps, the genius that he is, evil genius perhaps, smashes that routine to pieces as one of America's foremost culture jammers and punks. In Sociology 101, we learned about the sociologist who wrote a paper about a new culture he discovered the Nakarima of North America. And his whole point was showing how bizarre this culture was. And everyone agreed at how bizarre this culture was. Then at a convention, he proclaimed that this article is a piece of satire about America's ethnocentrism. Nakarima is American spelled backwards. So in a like manner, Fred Phelps is a universe of satire of you. You. Since the psychologists say what we don't like in the world is a reflection of ourselves.